Hello YouTube, I've already made a DCO7 video of this but I accidentally deleted it before uploading it so I thought why not do another one um, now I've just cleaned it up to kind of sit because I'm going to do just some kind of little vacuum display and of course the vacuums have to be spotlessly clean like this one is um, so it was donated to me I have cleaned it all, I've washed all the chassis so there's no dust in all the little grooves. The cyclone, I split that fully down. Shame you can't split the Show 7 cyclones down very much. They don't go down that much, but you can take the fins off, shroud off, cap off, be left with quite a big piece. It's all lovely and clean. It's also had, you'll notice it is actually slightly faded. If this will focus, yeah, there you go. It's a bit faded, this catch has always been stiff so let me get it on. But I got a new upholstery tool f for it, thank you Manchester Vax. Um, shiny and new, it's a bit too shiny for this Dyson but it goes nicely with the other turquoise tools that I had as spares. Um, but it was slightly annoying me having two turquoise tools but not a grey upholstery tool so I got a grey upholstery tool and just trying to shuffle it about. As you'll see, all spotless in here. Um, Eternal hose isn't too bad, it doesn't spring much, but it goes to the floor fine. Again, it's all lovely and clean. Clean. Yep, nice and clean. There's a wee bit something in there, but... Um, yeah, you could sell this as a refurb, I think. I did put a new post motor filter in. A little while after I got it, but I, d I was using it quite a lot before I cleaned it. I just found, I don't know what it is about this DC7, I just really like it. Don't know what it is about it. I'm a wee bit fond of that, it's a bit of a mismatch after I broke one of those parts. But I made it as yellow again as I could, but it turns out I didn't have the original cover. So, you know, it's not too bad, I only use it to clean the garage. Um, dusty, I did try selling it, but the replies were going to my spam folder, so I managed to sort that issue out, but it was after that, so I didn't realise people had wanted it, but they were old replies, so that's lovely and clean, it smells so nice as well. Let's just try and focus a bit more. Focus, will you? There we are, that's a bit better. And then we can remove this and you'll see that this is also nice and clean and you can also see some light through it which is what you should be able to do it's not a new filter it's actually had a really good condition um, kind of scary bit and it had a really new looking sponge so I just put the two together for a classy filter I'd like a, a new clutch cover, it's not urgent not only is it slightly faded but that but they broke when I first took it off. Still works fine, it still looks okay. Unless you're me, which you can instantly see it's broken, it still looks okay. And down the front's also a bit scratched. But I have a little bit of my animal left, it's just out in the scrap pile. So if this casing isn't as bad as this, I might swap them over. No, it cracked actually, it cracked right down there, so I won't be swapping them. But again, it's not too noticeable. I like how it says Dyson there. It's 2006. I just generally like how colourful it is. The new ones are, like, apart from the new Dyson Ball 2s, like, you know, they've all got yellow highlights, like this one has turquoise highlights. But previously the DC40, if you think of that, there's only one highlighted piece and that's a cyclone. It's just a little cyclone as well. The 41 had the inner shroud thing, coloured. But I like to have Dysons that are colourful, like Absolute Plus isn't too bad for colour. Ooh, that's lovely and clear. That, again, the DCO 7s are okay, that's a lovely. The whole thing's coloured. I'm looking for a better one of them. Mine is just a brittle wreck. That's my other battered DCO one. Nice and battered. Yeah, I should try polishing my Kirby, shouldn't I? What annoys me is, people say, Hey, your Kirby needs polishing. Try this. 
do this, do that, do this, use this, go buy some of this. Now most of the time, people give me this obscure polish that I've never heard of. One of them I hadn't even heard of before. Somebody said, here, and they sent me a link, and the polish was like £25. I mean, for the one, like, mainly metal vacuum I have, I know I have a junior, two juniors that are metal like that, but they're not. You know, they're not really ever shiny, whereas this is shiny. I'm not going to go spending £25 just to polish it up. In fact, same, somebody said, buy some of this auto glim for this Henry top. Well, it's my work, Henry, that cleans out all the other vacs and does the car exit. My car uses up me less five in there. And it does all that, you know. And, I mean, it was originally found in a skip by Rusty. So why am I going to go and spend, I, th I don't know how much the polish was, I polish, polish wash, but it was, you know, quite expensive and, you know, I don't actually think it's that bad. For a work Henry, it's absolutely fine. So, if you're going to recommend me something, try not to recommend me something too expensive and recommend me something that's going to work on a lot of my vacuums, not just one. But... I've got a very nice cleaning kit, all of it which works on all of my vacuums. One one of the items I use might be questionable on a Kirby, but anyway, back to the DC7. I digress. I wouldn't mind a new crevice tool. It's battered as, but uh, there was a nice turquoise set on eBay, um, which I'm, I should have bought. It was like ten pound. No, it was eight pounds delivered. Um, for all three tools, and then the, it wasn't, they were all genuine, and one of them wasn't shinier than the other one. But then again, I, I mean, actually, I spent nothing on this. This was a donation. So, you know, not really too much point saying that I can't. Well, I could go spend the money on it, I suppose. I've already spent £4. That was £4. The filter was like £1. £5 on it. And I think I'm happy with it as it is. Unless you start really looking at the crevice tool, you'll see that it's a bit battered. But I'm happy as it is. And I'm not going to test it. I want to keep it nice and clean for a little while. Before I want to use it again. Uh, I actually got my S7 out for the first time in a while last week. And I've been loving using that a lot. So I don't think I really need this. You'll just see, just in case you're wondering, it's all clean here. Basically, it's super clean, this Dyson. A lot of people don't see the point to washing the actual chassis. To do so, you have to take all your cables and stuff out. What it does is it cleans all the like crevices, which you can't really stick a cloth in. Like you can't get a cloth in there easily, but you can wash it all easily. That's why I wash the chassis on the, this style of upright. Anyway, I haven't. I've done light servicing on DC 25s, etc., but I haven't split one down completely yet. I've done a cycl I've done a few cyclones. I've had a lot of DC 25s. Uh, they used to be floating around in the auction quite a lot. Now the auction's gone all odd, and it's now a different name and everything, and it works completely differently. So I've actually been using Gumtree and donations for a lot of my vacs at the moment. I haven't been to that auction in a little while. But yeah, as I was saying, I used to get them bobbing around the place, you know, just un just generally really common thing. But now there's, there's not been a DC-25 in the auction for at least six months from what I've been looking, so that's odd. Because they're, they're common as muck, really. But obviously, there's nobody that wants to sell their second-hand one. But some people have asked me, do you want to buy my vacuum cleaner? Like, um, some people don't want to donate it, they would want a price for it, and some people want crazy prices for them. Um, I've had many crazy prices, I'm sure if you come across vacuums a lot, I'm sure you've seen crazy prices as well. Crazy good ones and crazy bad ones. But what I tell people is, well, no, I haven't actually really told very many people this, go put your vacuum in the auction. And then I can go and buy it for a fiver instead of paying all that they want because unless it's a Dyson Ball or a Henry, Vax in the auction don't go for a lot. I've picked up many bargains 
a three pounds Philips, a five pounds Panasonic. I've had I've had two Panasonics for a fiver. I've had a three pound Turbo Power two. I miss that cleaner. I've had a twenty five pound Bertie, which is a bit much, but if you see the condition of Bertie, you'll see that it's mint basically. I've had twenty five pounds for a Chrome Henry. You'll see, you'll spot the pattern that it's only the pneumatics that go for more than a tenner and the Dyson ball cleaners. DCO7s usually, stuff like this, just an upright standard four fixed wheels Dyson. It'll go for 10, 15, maybe 18 if you're lucky. So that's what I love about the auction, I can get cheap bargains, but they're not, they've been doing antique sales, they're kind of moving off the electricals and stuff, there's an electrical and general one soon. So I might have a scout, I'm getting a few other machines from Kevin soon, here's a clue to one of them. If you can tell what Dyson this brush rolls from, by looking at those ends, you will know what I'm getting. I'm also getting a few older Hoovers. Hoovers, they are Hoovers. You know, just hinting. I got that from Joblet Man. I made a video of that and I also deleted as well. Haven't made a video of that yet. Hitachi. Come on, focus. There we go. This is turning into a long rambly video. Don't you just love those videos? But yeah, thank you for watching. And. I'm look I want to get a more like a purple and green DC seven or a, a um like a red and purple or something that's very exotic. This is pretty nice, but it's not over the top colourful. I want a distill as well, any distill Dyson. Preferably a DC one, but a DC four distill might look better than that. But even a DC two distill, in fact Kevin's got a DC two distill. He's gonna bring it along just for a little photo shoot with the DC two that I got from him. You know, just for, you know, a little bit of experimenting, not playing. Some people think the term playing sounds weird, so experimenting. And just looking at them. Because sometimes it's nice if you've got two models of vacuum. If somebody say, I have a still, you have a... a well, you ha I have a DAS, Kevin has a distill. DCO2, you bring them round and, you know, just, it's nice to see the two together, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you will know what I mean. You will understand it, hopefully, because I speak in English. 1.8% of my viewers are Slovakian. I don't speak any, whatever they speak, whatever language they speak over there. I do speak a little German, a little French, a little Spanish. Just average languages, I'm rubbish at them though. Oh, that's a bit annoying. This would love to focus. You see it's quite scratched, but it has got the general use points. Again, we're back to the DCO7. I should really just uh, shut my gob and maybe I'll use all this energy to make videos, other videos. See you later.